Hello everyone to UGC Europe, the Grand Finals. Totally not last minute call for casters. With today is of course John on the camera and Quintosh in the co-caster booth. How are you doing today, man? Oh, he's a... He's a uh, you still here, man? He's... Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, now I can hear you. Alright, my computer was dying right there. Yeah, I'm fine. How about you? I'm doing pretty great. You know, just got back from the i series slam, the Insomnia 58. And, uh, yeah, got a ask to cast. I haven't cast in a while looking for this. So it's Highlander Steel, one of my favorite maps. And also we have the two teams, of course. Let's not forget, we have Stick, SDCK, and S Club. And SDCK is, of course... See where was the name? Oh yeah, I want to be sure I got the right. It's Super Dickman, which is probably some ramp some sort. Pretty interesting. I'm seeing Catman playing for chess. Yeah, it's a bit interesting. I have the heavies name can't really go over. You seem to have um, interesting names. I'm not sure how many is actually on the actual roster because we did this last minute. But I know that Hildreth is on medic. And I shared an hotel room with him in I-58, and I know that he hasn't slept um, since yesterday, so he's going to be really at his best performance, I guess. Like, he just becomes zen, and he's like one with the elements as a medic. Going from the best sixes land to highland, and that's nice. Yeah, exactly. So, if we take a look at the first point here, setup time is almost over. There is nothing from Chess Club. Of course, Chess Club is defending and SDCK is uh, attacking. So, they have nothing there. They just have a spy. That's Kazool from Chess Club, quite the known spy. He's just going to stay there and just relay some information to see what they're doing. So, he's going to see that pretty much everybody, except the medic and the sniper, is going to go for the A point there. Uh, they also have a soldier in the back that's going to look for like when the door opens. But so far, Nothing really going on. We know that, I think that uh, SDK knows that there's a spy here, so they're just spy checking. Oh, actually, Kazul got hit by the heavy there. Danovich. Yeah, he's oh, he's so weak. Oh, and he gets lit on fire and he gets taken out. But that's just a spy. He got the information. Could have pulled off something there, but this is like the default setup. Red team holding yeah, B, rush A with the whole team. Then you can exactly. go, um, go from E, or you can go back through the drop down or the spawn. Looks like they're gonna go for an E-Rush, but they've been called already. So is already on the sideline, he's not hitting his shots quite well though. Um, Spelly pushing forward with that demo man. Of course, um, who is the partner with Sunrise, he's already waiting for that Uber to come in to blow them off. So that's definitely not gonna work out too well if they go in right here. Yeah, it looks to be going for some E cheese here as well. I mean, they have a couple, like, uh, Chesco has a couple of flank classes here. They got the soldier with the funny name and Atomic there. Atomic just got taken out by uh, Burn, the sniper. And um, looks like they're just going to be pressuring E. But uh, E is a hard point to get. I mean, like, you, you can't yeah, see Yeah, there's no but... point. There's no point capping E. They just get spammed off all the time. Yeah. They're not initiating and, and yeah, it just drops his Uber right there. I'm not sure how that happened. Obviously, going for that E rush doesn't work out too well when they rotate yeah. the players. The power is a strong class right there, and once that guy is in in the connector, he can just deny the whole push. Yeah, so that was a bit interesting. They had the spy, uh, SD, I'm going to call him SD, had the spy on the point there that caused like five classes to go. And when they left the E point, they're going to go back onto E and try to do that. But there's a pyro and there's a heavy, and he can just shoot on the U for days. But look at this, they got the sentry back here as well to reinforce that spawn door. They really want this E point. And uh, they got the scout and the pyro. Let's see here, the sentry still up, getting wrangled like crazy. Oh, Demo Man gets taken out for the defenders here. So yeah, they forced, forced the Uber there, um, they got the medic in the exchange, um, they were keeping Hildred <laughs> alive, which is good, wow. but that pressure on E is way too strong right now, we need yeah. to do something about that. Just yeah, the scout on point right now, once the scout yeah. is gone. Maybe the demo man is just up and he's going to be playing a crucial role here. He needs to do something, the cap time is getting dangerously close here. They have even a spy on the point because of that increased run speed for the spy. He's able to get there. Oh no, he falls in the pit! That was now so nobody's unlucky. on the point and the sentry is down. Ubers was doing quite a lot of work. He denied the sentry. That was quite a big setup from the blue team. And he's still doing work. No one's denying him from jumping on that point. And this was almost an e-cup for SD SDCK. Yeah. 
That was uh, almost then. Uh, let's say they committed to finishing this because it's going to get really tough getting like a good foothold here now that they lost it. Uh, so they might just go for the vitamin push just to take it in, in yeah, standard order. Yeah, B is completely order. free, so they can just yeah. go for that and just take them some time yeah, to realize that. Seems like that's what they're doing. Uh, you can see that the sniper and the heavy and the demo and the medic uh, or all like the major combo classes here are still just going to B, and I think they're just going to push it normally now. So I think they're going to get it as well. No, Uber coming in here. Actually, Pyro and Omen coming in. Going for the bomb onto the medic. That is a near. That's not a good push. It just gets taken down by oh, a burn. Oh. Heavy going down. That was a really, really poor exchange. They, yeah, I'm they keep losing players. That's that B point is so lost, and exactly. SDCK already uh, pushing forward through the connector, so C point should be a free cap as well. Yeah, and also Anir is running crit creek on offense, so this could be potentially pretty scary. He has the the demo man isn't quite with him yet, but he has his heavy Sanovich. It's going to be hanging around here at C, and he's going to run into the over heavy other heavy air. Oh, and he popped the crit, but Chris he gets out. taken out. But the crit creek pyro. Not gonna be able to do the job there as they kind of just back out of there, man. But uh, so far, C is fairly uncontested. We just got Atomic here just poking him proud. He's gonna run into the demo and taking him out. Nice one v one there from Atomic taking out the demo. Push is and coming Atom in on C. And they need to keep uh, take care of Hildreth right there. He's running around in the open, but he's safe. Yeah, look he at this. He doesn't uh, get this. killed that easily. The e setup yeah. is strong again with that sentry. They, they need to deny that sentry. It was doing work on the first push already. Yeah, now, I was just gonna uh, say that chess is taking the white space right there. Um, pretty easy to hold from there. You can rotate back to the connector. Yeah, I was just gonna say they had the engineer and the sniper working the, uh, the front there, but the sentry got taken out immediately. And now uh, it looks like they are just going for a standard D and E hold. I don't think they're gonna bother much with C. Nice hedge up there by Flo. Taking out the demo man spelling. Let's see, Flo is on D, just rotating around. Not sure where Spelly was on that C. She could have denied the um, chess club from just pushing on that C point. It was unfortunate for them. But they just keep trying to push that white space, and with the long range on that sentry, they're definitely at a disadvantage. Yeah, Brandon, definitely. She's trying to take a peek from, from that white area. But he's not seeing anything. Yeah. They're spreading themselves kind of thin here, SDCK. And uh, they're not really capping C. Uh, I don't, I'm just going to take a look and see what's at C. And it's it's the Pyro. It's only the Pyro and the Heavy are kind of there. And we can see all the uh, SDCK are just like on the E point. They got a new level 3 up here. That Engineer sure is busy. Mark doing work there. Heavy aggression with the conch. Doing work, yeah. actually. Clear that like, Hildreth and Flow. Yeah, I would really like to see like uh, SDCK just put someone on C just to have that cap so that someone on the red team has to deal with it. Oh, Pyro going down for SDCK at the front there. Engineer actually getting the force off the medic. That is Gog doing some shock in action here. They have a scout on the point once again. Sentry down from the assault from above. The wind of their engineer dies as well, and this is like just a cleanup from um, Chess Club here. Not much. Shelly needs to watch out where his team is and where he is himself. He just keeps getting caught off. And Heavy might be strong on this map, but he's he's not getting the support from the demo man. And Chess is just such a strong team yeah. inside the combo. It seems they will focus that Heavy down. Yeah, I just gonna say, it seems like Sully's having a real hard time just getting to his team. He keeps getting picked off by like sticky traps and scouts and other guys just like showing up in his path. So I'm just, I'm just going to watch him for now and see if he's actually able to join up with the rest of his team. Um, looks like he's going to be able to. He's being very careful with his health. Not really stay jumping too much. He's going to be with the sniper. And yeah. But you see like, oh, uh, the medic went down as well. So And the heavy is dead. So now he's disconnected from the combo. And he's going to die again. Oh, he dies again. That was so goes close. In, goes in the front by himself. Sorry, go ahead. Not sure what they're trying to do. They're, they're just suicide in one by one. They go from a over and over again, even though that stick trap is just gonna hold them off. Yeah. And we see Astari taking out the soldier. They just need to put K 
cap time on C because this is the first uh, in the first round and they are going to set the cap time of course that Chesco has to beat in the first round so why aren't they just doing like a solid push here because they've been wasting a lot of time trying to get E and it just really isn't going anywhere. Well, they can't do uh, anything about the C-Cap. They clear off the C-Cap with the Tomic and Kazul. Um, if they put more players onto C, they could have got it because you don't want to rotate your combo right there. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, C SDCK putting that aggression onto white space again. Oh, they get the demo, man! Oh. And, uh, and the force is just a pyro there and a counter pyro and a counter push coming in here. Not sure if that was the best uber coming out of SDCK. I think they could have hauled onto that for a little longer. No, Let's they're see. doing the work there. They got the picks. They don't have a demo to contest yeah. them. The flank what is open. What are they going to do? Are they just going to run and look at the D point? Because they can't cap it. Nobody's on C and uh, capping E is a pain right now. But they do have a sentry going up. And finally, nope. There's okay, nothing so Chess can do about them going so aggressive onto D and C at the same time. They're gonna try and defend that C point, but that's not gonna work out too well once SCCK realizes that they should put time on E as well. Yeah, like it seems like SDCK is a bit like I don't know what they want to do because it seems like there's, they're wasting out a lot of time not really accomplishing anything worth of cap time. So now that the scout back on the point, he gets taken out immediately by maybe some nice sticks there. And like they have all these guys on E, but nobody on E. Oh, the heavy is caught by himself. He's going to run into a spot and gets back. Sped, like, very low health. So that's another guy down. Lucky and now I think... Oh, nice use of the atomizer there. Uh, coming out of atomic. Oh my god, is the engineer oh, going to get the so demo bad. and the medic? Yeah, Are you he's, kidding he's me? He's getting them. He's getting them. Oh. <laughs> Almost. Oh well, Prem Engineering. That Uber Force was not sure what that was. They're chasing the sniper at the Uber, that's not what you want to do. They regather with the team in that white space area and they just keep messing up at splitting. Now, Chess is in that connector area and they definitely have an advantage there. Uh, Sandwich is going in, he kind of gets the support but he's really low on how it forces the Uber. And that Uber is so onto Spelly, and that combo is almost wiped. Except for Enya, who now has an Uber advantage. But they're split up once again. And yeah, it's just with his sniper uh, and the NG. Yeah. Burn hitting that insane headshot onto it. I mean, could have cost them the medic almost. Yeah, exactly. So that was a very good headshot. And But we've seen before, like, they get the sniper, they get into this position, and then they just lose. Uh, players and then they had to get out of there. So like the sentries now level two. Uh, they spot the spy, of course. It's a burn with the cicat, but exactly it was just a joke shot because it then gets burned to death garden. Once again, Spelly and Sandwich had great aggression in that last push where they forced it, but right there they just sacked in the heavy and Spelly was just so cut off from the combo that they just dropped the heavy and they're once again facing an Uber v Uber without that heavy. Yeah, and Spelly is cut off. Just and yeah, chasing him with that Ubu, and they should die in that lower area. Yeah, yep, that's it for them. Sandwich on the flank kills the Catman. Oh, might cost actually cost them their combo now. Shouldn't contest yep. that lower area with just a demo. That was a mistake. Yeah, and uh, was running for his life with the clock doing work with the sentry once again. But gets taken out by Kazoo. Never mind that. <laughs> Sandwich there with our health left uh, battling that mini century but yeah he did a lot of work there sandwich or sandwich whatever yeah um, did some work there now they got ta cap time on e again and look at this time limit only 10 seconds left on the clock here plus the overtime that is from the uh, point that will be receding quite quickly and i guess that uh, sdck kind of wish they had put more people on c and just actually capped it to get more cap time and shut up some spawn doors it's just a pyro now no one else to really go on the point and that's it Yes, so all Chess Club needs to do to win this round is to cap three points. Or two points faster than, than they did. Yeah, they shouldn't be doing anything fancy. I think it's yeah. going to be the default setup. Um, rush A, rotate to spawn, then go B. Maybe try and get a suicide would be the best thing to do since you have the time to do it. Yeah, exactly. So you see that Gog, normally you just, they just go with level threes on offense, just like you can do some fancy East, but he's going mini sentries. So I guess he's just going to go for the standard support engineer with mini sentries where a combo is. So 
<laughs> I think like uh, Chess Club is playing a bit better here. Um, I'm not able to see the stats because of the HUD, but I'm guessing that they're doing a bit better because it seemed like they got more kills, I would guess. Uh, so let's see what they decide to do here. Both teams are running regular miniguns. Let's look at the defense for SDK. Sentry in the standard spot. And uh, Dispenser in a bit of an unusual spot, I guess. Heavy on the high ground. So gates are about to open. Let's see what uh, Chess Club decides to do here. Default A rush. Because they're just trying to get no, in they're behind them. They're actually not bringing their heavy with them. The heavy is actually going solo. He's going to go and just look and just see. What they have, the Fist of Steel, and just soak up a damage and maybe die, because it doesn't really matter. Cause, no like, way, Kazul is getting behind right there. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Oh. I think he oh. got spotted right there. Yeah, he got spotted. They definitely know yeah, that he's he there. He's gotten hit. Yeah, they see the silhouette, and he has used up his bicycle, and he is probably going to die to this pyro here. If the pyro, oh, wait, Kazul is quite good at uh, Ambassador. Was quite oh, no, an Sorry. Sorry. from Kazul, though. Yeah. He's still fighting with the pyro. They go in right here, they have no pyro to contest that. Yeah, anyway. exactly. This is actually very good. Because uh, should scream for them that the pyro is cut off from the comp. They should yeah, just exactly. run like in. The, the pyro seems to be very indecisive. Like, does he go and just finish off Kazul because he knows he's there? Or does he just leave him? And it seems like he's going to leave him because he knows it's more important to just arrow blast him whenever they now, come. Now, Chess is pushing from E and they have the connector area now. Th there's no pyro to deny them. That's what. That's the right thing Chess did last round. Is to deny them from going in, and they're giving up all that space. Just now they're rotating after like 15 seconds late, yeah, and Squally is just suiciding in. Almost gets dropped in that Uber. Let's see here. Does anyone get launched in? Oh, medic gets taken out. That was a big mess. Down. Yeah, yeah that was a very big mess. I'm not sure why Chess Club decided to go for like the E rush there when they absolutely didn't have to. Uh, but let's see here. Oh, it oh, looks like it was planned all along. The plan was to get the number advantage uh, on the E uh, I mean, there, which they did, not everybody except three, and then just go on to B and cap this. Um, that, one, that might have been the strat, actually. Just, just yeah. Exchange in that E area. Like, they had to commit a lot of players there to still win that push. Yeah. And eventually they lose B. So there you go. All they had to do was so cap B faster. Strat. Yeah. So that was a uh, chess club with the. Lose almost everything at E, but still win. Strategy. This is best of attack. one, right? <laughs> so that's the first map. Uh, yeah, probably. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe John could. Maybe if John knows. All right, we just it's got conf confirmation from the John himself that it is. If it's regular UGC, then yes, this is the first map. So. Um, Let's see, they say they're saying good rounds, so I'm gonna have a look at the logs. Let's see what they say. Where's the logs? Uh, if you if you open the chat, it should be there. I can I can just give you in the mumble. Open chat. Yeah, okay, here you go. Look in the mumble. Here you go, where I'm gonna sort on kills, and we have actually who is the the dev, the, the soldier with a funny name? B underscore before I'm C U R six Pat. Who is that? Uh, what's he playing? Soldier for a chess club. That's Ubers. Ubers, yeah. Good thing he made for me to read. Uh, he and maybe is top fragging with 18 kills each. However, maybe the demo man about 2,000 more damage coming out here. And then we got Tomic with a 17 kill. And both snipers actually did surprisingly well. Except that Burn, he got they got the same amount of kills. Uh, but the damage is almost like eight over 800 more for Burn than it is for Flow on Chess Club. So Burn uh, doing a lot of work for his team, which seems to be like uh, a case. Because I remember what like I think matters here. I'm sorry for cutting you off there. Yeah, is that's fine. Ubers and Atomic they have um, top frags. Um, Kalis, which is uh, CC maybe the demo, um, top fragging as well right there. But it it stand they stand out with that flank. With that flank oh, play, yeah. and Atomic and Uber is probably still the best flank in Europe, Highland right now. So they're definitely doing work there. Just keep push, keep putting pressure on that combo, keep putting pressure on that flank so they don't get free space into into any area. Yeah. Which I guess was was the main thing why why they couldn't split because they they just got raped on the flank. Yeah, if you just look at the amount of deaths here, you can see that uh, Anir died twice as much as Hildreth. And that's a lot uh, for medics. Well, 
take uh, season eight Highlander, eight of twelve, I think, with uh, Robin getting like twenty one deaths as a medic, which was uh, insane, and they still won the finals. Yeah. So it it means something, but it doesn't mean that they lost the game because of that. No, no. And you can like say that because it's stats and numbers. So let's see who top damaged. Yeah, maybe damaged, followed by. Yep. So it looks like the next map is going to be upward. Map that is very super friendly. So let's see if Burn is able to uh, capitalize on that. See if he was getting a bit more damage out than um, Flow. But uh, we'll see. Normally, what happens, like as a as a sniper main, if you ever play and you have like a team that's not doing too well, you end up like doing the job for other classes because like you're just a sniper, you can just stay in the back and just shoot stuff. And if your scout and soldiers aren't getting the kills or the damage, you might do like you might take their jobs, so to speak. So that's why sometimes the losing, like the sniper on the losing team, seems to be doing really well, and that's usually because his teams are just dead a lot. Yeah, he's stealing all the kills. I'm yeah. wondering if um, we're going to see some fancy strats on this map, specifically the second point forward hold. If Chess gets that forward hold with the Tomic and Ubers on, on the bottom in the tunnel, then um, I think they can just defend second point throughout the game. Yeah. Obviously, it's a risky thing to do. You need to back out from first point pretty early, but it's definitely worth it, and that's all this just such a, such a stronghold with that flank. You might as well just yeah. go ahead and do it. And this is also a best of one, so if you have any cheesy strats, uh, now is the time to use them, because you only get one shot. Normally, like, uh, steel is uh, more of a tactical map, it's like you have three rounds, so if, like, you try something once, like, if you do a rush and it works, then you kind of, like, secure it around. Uh, but here, like you only have one round, so you gotta make it count. So I feel like, like, do you also feel that kind of like STCK kind of wasted, kind of gave a free win to uh, Chess Club here? Mm, I don't think they're giving it away. No, I meant like a steal. Like they, they hardly did anything with C. Like they didn't even finish the cap rounds when they could. Um, well, the thing is. They had this the level of three century from Clark, and it was doing so much work, and they they couldn't do anything off of it. Like it was getting yeah. so so many kills and so much pressure that sentry on the on the f uh, back spawn on E that is amazing. If you can pull that off, you should most likely get E. What they did was that they waited way too long to initiate on that push, and the fact that Chess was reacting quite fast. Um, not overextending into that area where, where they would definitely die or have to force. So they just waited right there um, with the pyro and it would have cost STCK the push yep. if they went in there. Um, they should have just split up. There was no one being for ages while they were waiting on that E point. They just need one or two players and they can um, put pressure on the team. At least, if they rotate two players, I mean, they can still kill you, but it's what messes up the comms that you have to yeah. rotate these players. It's not always quite clear that um, your scout or your soldier or your spy or your sniper is the one who's rotating in that situation, um, especially because it's Highlander and maybe not everyone's alive in that situation. Yeah. So right now we see a fairly standard sentry spot here, very defensive sentry. Uh, probably Ooh, one of the most more whoa, defensive. Oh, Hildra on that 30 HP. Whoa. It's pretty close there. He's going to go back and heal back up, and we see... Yeah, I think I think Spelly was using loose cannon there, and he hit two pipes. If it was normal pipe launcher, he would have killed Hildra. Yeah. Which is pretty funny. <laughs> Isn't yeah. loo is loose, loose cannon, cannon OP? Again? I mean, come on. <laughs> mm, and it was... It was alright when I played with it. It's yeah. not OP, but you can get pretty annoying with it on map like uh, yeah. Viaduct. So far, we see that Kazul is just in the back, he's just observing. He has seen that the medic is out. They're losing that top right area to the sniper, and they just back out behind that house. There's nothing they can do. Here comes now, the Uber. Eventually, they force nice Uber, and they should back out from that. Yeah. Kaelius is already out, the floor is on the, on the top. 
Ubers are still in this song in the day. Wow, nice re reflex there coming out of Garden Fungus. And uh, yeah, this looks like a pretty strong opening here from um, from SDCK. Kind of a shift from what we saw last round. They've had like the steady flow, they've just been constantly attacking and they haven't really stopped. And they, uh, Ubers are a little slight advantage for SDCK. Hildreth and his team, his club, has to hold back and they're just going for the standard hole here as well. And um, so far, Kazul is the only one down, so no real uh, real advantage for either team. No forward hold for either, because they lost too many yeah. players in that first point. Yeah, but here we have uh, the spy from STCK. Um, it's a man with uh, no ears. Gonna go around, oh, almost gets the stable Hildreth there. Whoa, that was really close. But nice work by the Pyro there, saving his ass. Let's see, they got the scout behind the payload, the sentries and gonna go and shoot him and look at this nice uber taking out the sentry. Pretty textbook play here, I have to say, they're just going in, getting the kills. I think he's gonna battle a spy and a scout. Oh, this they're is actually good. losing this. Yeah, nice comeback from uh, Cheska, but they actually didn't lose that many players. I mean, they lost the gun and the demo, but that was about it. I didn't pay much attention to what happened there, I guess they wasted too much of an uber on the sentry. Yeah. While um, Chester was just backing out, um, Uber's coming in from the back right there and just messing messing up the combo. Yeah, and there look was at this. Some, I'm not uh, sure if they noticed there was that some there's top player right there. Actually, the teleporter for Gog is actually still there. So, uh, probably if they, when uh, SD, I, I'm guessing SDK will be able to capture this point, uh, they will have a teleporter that just goes behind their spawn, essentially, and that can be really useful for their spy. Was that a force coming out, or was that a. Uh, uh, I was checking who Goff is, I didn't see that. Yeah, I just saw that Uber, Uber Fade, I was looking at the teleporter and some positioning here. Uh, so let's see here, uh, Ubers once again, quite even. Um, number advantage even. for, um, for SDCK, but they're able to capitalize it, start with a soft push and see where that takes them. Got the soldier on the dart here, Dima, gonna be landing some rockets on that and it's almost down. Heavy exchange, Catman wins that, and 5 HP. Yeah, Pyro on the cart, here block the bomb. Whoa, oh, careful! Man! Jesus, <laughs> cat, man. Yeah. He's cheating. Spelly, dude, he just didn't care that the entire round. And let's see now. Their spawns have been moved forward, there's a teleporter in the back, and nobody has checked that spot. And that will be such a huge uh, tool for Kazul there if they decide to use that. I'm guessing they will. Let's see, does he, has he built an entrance? No. Probably will late. Yeah. That's an Uber from SDCK. Pretty bad one too. Hildruff didn't have to use them, but they still do anyway. Yeah, maybe They're gonna he try and take some ground. He sneezed to hit the button. Didn't have to. Or maybe he was like, he's so tired that he can't keep track of the enemy Uber, so he just Ubered himself. <laughs> so he knows that when they have it, we have it as well. But yeah, cards they don't even, forward. They don't, they don't even need to let them push the cart that far forward. Now they're putting pressure on them, but... Uh, it should be the demo man doing that because he's, it's the best class to stop them from pushing that cart uphill. Yeah, so we have some heavy exchanges and fire here. One running with Tommy Slot, the other does not. Oh, scouting in here. Oh, the heavy is so weak. He's just gonna have. Oh, he didn't put his back against the wall. There's no spy to stab him. Spy was just jumping in there and putting heavy damage on the combo, and I don't think anyone realized he was there. He's still going. Eventually dies. I think and yeah, was that a uber disadvantage? I can't see it in my HUD. Yeah, they're uh, currently uh, Hildreth just popped on on nothing. I think he got forced again somehow. And uh, no, now it was a added, good. It was a good force. Yeah, now they're at an uber disadvantage. Uh, but uh, uh, looks like Anir is actually building. Now he is. Okay, so about 20% uh, uber advantage, uh, not that much in Highlander, because it takes a while to like get early dudes into position, so I don't think it will matter too much. We don't see any of those fancy, like, oh, nice edge out there by Birkin, now flow, and that's going to give his team so much elbow room with the sniper gone, and what is he going to focus down? Is he just going to go, no, nope. let's see, he's looking forward, oh, he gets the heavy as well, up to three kills here. We can There's see nothing that. Chess can do in that situation, yeah, exactly. they lost the right side, the house. And yeah. the card is being pushed, they have no snipers to contest Oh, there looks like SCK they're about to be contested. already on top. Yeah, they're being contested really hard. And Uber coming in here, counter Uber pop. Let's see how this engagement goes. Uh, Heavy went down there for... 
No, uh, he's just responding. Sorry, I was just looking at it wrong. It was a uh, demo that went. Let's see here. <laughs> Did you see the Diva air shot on Kazool mid air as he closed? That was pretty funny. And wow, look at this. There's just a heavy to defend there, and he, he juggles the other guy in the air, but he's so weak. And look at this, just like a death ball of blue on, on the point here, coming in, but that's not going to last long with the constant heals. But forget to push the cart! And now a huge respawn wave is going to come in here from Chess. The engineer's on the cart. Bomb it in! Ooh, taking on the heavy, going down. See you later. And over the cart, still moving. People coming in. And this, okay, I got it. In. 4.6 minutes and 40 seconds. That's, a, that's an all round that's time. That's pretty is swift. It? That's pretty swift. Yeah, it's pretty swift. They had a. I think they only had like one major stop, and that was at the uh, the second point. Is when they kind of had to push this. Other than that, it was like a step way or just going forward. So the teams have been switched. This is still a best of one, so this is the time that Chess Club has to beat. And so far, uh, SDCK looked pretty strong. Um, this opening compared to Steel, so they might just be warming up, getting ready. Uh, what do you think? How do you think uh, Chess Club's going to deal with this? Mm, well, going back to the last round, um, Chess is having issues at focusing targets, especially because SDCK is always so scattered up. Um, so if they if they can get that sorted, if they go into Uber exchanges and focus targets that are not actually Uber, um, Right, because that's pretty pointless shooting Uber targets, but that's what they've been doing. Um, but they should uh, get a suicide right at the start. If they get lucky, because Inya is in a bad position, then they can get the first point at least. Yep, so let's see here. Cards moving up with the times five, just to be sure, but they just gather some people around the point. See the scout. Oh, Dari here, gonna be battling the soldier there and doing some. Nice strafing. Maybe taking down the men with no ears. That is their spy going down, so don't have to worry about getting backstabbed for a little while. Hildreth moving out already. They know that the time is of the essence because that was a pretty quick uh, time there, so you can't just stay in spawn and wait for that, that grand opening flow here with the headshot on through no sniper. That means Hildreth can just walk right in there. All he has to be careful about is a bomb because he did take some damage there as well as sticky traps, but there are none because the demo has been using them. Let's see here. We're exchange. What do you see? Sap on the sentry. Um, if they got that sap on the sentry, it would have been an easy push there. But they're winning this one because Ubers is once again doing work from that flank from the high ground. The and of course, in oh, it doesn't get anything. of course, giving up the top right position to the sniper is devastating. Like, there's nothing yep, you burn. can do except hide. You have to commit players, and if you commit players, then they're going to get focused. Exactly. So, it looks so like once that happens, they're gonna yeah. push in once you commit those players, and then it's basically lost. Yeah. Also, the Unless sniper uh, uh, fungus there, so no pyro, means no air blast uh, for a little while. But I don't think it's gonna matter too much because neither team has an Uber yet. But uh, quite a quite a little advantage here for um, Chess Club here, and they move in. Yeah, Chess is playing it slow. They they're putting um, putting time on car. They're playing the flank. They're trying to control the ground. No fancy suicides. Uh, Kale is kind of cut off right there while his team backs off into the the oh. elbow. Offensive conjuring here. Uber on the soldier very early, and there's no sentry. He's moving into the cart. I'm not entirely sure what happened here. I guess it was the man with no ears that just ambassador down the the sentry there. Counter Uber coming out, or a responser from uh, SDCK here, and it looks like they're gonna clean up house. Look at this heavy just mowing through them. An engineer behind him as well, and <laughs> engineer gets the kill. Gog gets the revenge for his uh, fallen heavy and medic, but uh, I don't think it's going to be enough. Spies in behind, and oh, takes down flow. No sniper either. Burn is just about to respawn, so sniper advantage here. But the back sap, <laughs> he gets the sap on the sentry, and then gets. Wait. Okay. Yes, got that. No, I mean like the timing on that. It's like the sentry fired the uh, rockets onto the spy, and before the rockets hit, the spy zapped the gun. So was pretty clutch there. Sentry still up though, however. Just team for stupid things. Yeah, just team for stupid things. 
Okay, well they actually have a scout behind as well. That is uh, Atomic just running around. He's probably gonna, he's not going for the health pack actually. He's just gonna go and say, and like announce to the entire team that he's there. He had the Mad Milk too, so he just healed up that way. Uh, but now the Heavy is, oh, actually he managed to get Heavy at the back there and the Heavy actually doesn't kill him. Uh, just yet going down, is that enough? No, oh, just some spam coming out. Getting the Sentry for free there. Um, I'm guessing Hildreth also... He got yeah. uh, back seven to why uh, his team was trying to put pressure on the ground. Yeah, okay. This is an unnecessary Uber exchange, I guess they're trying to take forward position. And yeah. they have players to do it. Uh, it's like a semi-forward hold, they're just taking the yeah. house. Yeah, this is what you can do when you start to get a number advantage, is just to keep that number advantage. Like you over, like you take two players and you just overextend a little bit to like make sure that if one of them dies, if you take one with them, you still have the number advantage. And yeah, it gets stopped by Kazoo right there, and that's what you get when you stand in, in, in such a position where yeah. you wouldn't expect them to go in from behind, and Catman right there is just mowing down through the house, which is the same thing that Sam shit last round. Yeah, just respawn wave coming in here. Oh, and Spelly going down. He was quite crucial uh, right there. So uh, look at the amount of dead on SDCK here. We're going to be able to get a lot of ground. Just need the times three on hurt. We keep it rolling forward here. Sentry gun, only one. Engineer is hammering away at it. Let's see how Chess Club uh, do this. They, they have lost their heavy. Uh, they have their soldier and pyro left. So you can see what That's they can do with it. See here, they have some exchange close to the spawn there. No casualties so far. Dispenser pick coming out of Ubers. Those are very vital, as we all know. That was um, absolutely unnecessary going into that um, third point hold against the level 2 sentry with just three players. Yeah. Ubers was abandoning them as well, and he ran away. Yeah, we also have um, Gog here, the engineer, just uh, making sure the cart goes forward times one. But. Uh, He's made it past one of the places where he goes uh, backwards, now the scout's going to join him, and they're just going to leave the cart for a little bit, and he gets taken out by the sniper uh, burn here it's on good a 5 kill. Time, though. If they yeah, push exactly. in and the cart moving, they can get the cap for sure. And uh, there's a man with no ears taking out Sunrise. Pyro. We have scout battle on the end here. Looks like Starry came on top of that. And uh, time is taken away here. How long does it take to push the last? point here if non-stop about 25 seconds yeah okay so they still have uh one fourth chance of doing this if they can get everything right so hildreth now on the Kritzkrieg, and there's a demo in position i'm watching maybe can he do it oh the demo with the <laughs> like if you run up against players with the conch it's like run trying to like outrun a race car they just like zoom past you crits was out and affected i did anything with it but um they still got the cap. Um, yeah, exactly. SDCK doing the right thing, backing out, getting the top area. Yeah. Uh, wondering if some so, some fancy things are going to happen with the crits. Well, right now, uh, from what you've said, is that um, Chess Club has five seconds of time they can not push the cart uh, in order to make this. So uh, all they lost their sniper, so that's pretty bad. We have most of uh, SDCK at the top here. Ten seconds left. All the cards are moving forward. Okay, one, two, three. Ah, that's no, a rip. Not be enough. There you go. SDCK showing they were not out of it, taking the round. Yeah, I suppose this was their map, so no surprise that they won. Just put on a good show, though. They almost got it. Wondering what the third map will be. Well, just hold on for a moment and we shall figure it out. So yeah, that was a um, pretty solid uh, time by uh, SDCK there. I mean, there wasn't a bad push by uh, Chess Club either, but uh, it was pretty quick. It looks like it's going to be Asheville, King of the Hill. So that's going to be interesting. I haven't seen that map in a while. It's Asheville. Yeah, so we're setting the hill ash of it. RC1. Jesus. What, you don't like that map or that? something? It's fine. It's just so... I don't know, it's it's not fit for Highlander. Uh, yeah, I can agree with that. <laughs> um, seems to be very sixes oriented, if you ask me. But yeah. We just it's almost a very, very slow play. 
especially because when you cap the point there's basically two ways you can go to get a forward hold you can go to the right side um where the health pack is like you just go up the stairs or you go through the gate and then go top left but neither neither hold is actually favorable for the defending team so this yeah. promotes really really slow really passive play just sitting on that on that high ground trying to get that on control and just sitting back waiting for that exchange to come in and then winning that exchange of course so in my so, yeah. opinion there's there's not much you can do to get a significant advantage as a, as a defending team on this map yeah and i remember i played this map um back in my day when i still played competitive well it looks like we're gonna switch i guess i restart please switch <laughs> please UGC, please. So yeah, like currently uh, one to one. So it seems like on the on the technical maps, like the only one that it's steel. It is like I think steel is probably like the most strategic map because there's two alternatives to what you can do instead of just one. Uh, so we saw Edge Club came out on that. They were more tactical, but when it came to standard stuff, it seemed that SDCK was just a little bit faster. I think like. If SDCK would have been like maybe 10 seconds slower, they might not have gotten that win on upward. Oh, it looks like I, can switched, see, I can see chess. I can see yeah. chess 3 owing this or 4 owing this. I don't know the rules yeah. and then you just see. But yeah, it's still, it's still Asheville. Yeah. You just looked into like your magic 8 ball and you just shaked it and said like 4 0 to chess club? No, we said um, C was a um, tactical map. And chess is not just a tactical team. They have an insane flank. They have an insane combo. I'm not sure how um, how rusty uh, Kalis still is, uh, seeing how he performed on Steel. Um, he seemed to be doing quite well. But this is pretty much a deathmatch map. Yeah. And if chess heard... can focus targets correctly, then this is the map for sure. Yeah, this is a map where the flank uh, can really do a lot, and they've had superior flanks on the previous map on Steel, so I think that's, you're right, absolutely right. I forward to seeing uh, Ubers and Atomic wreck some, sh wreck some shit, as the kids say. That's what the kids say, right? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Only the kids. Oh, yeah, not the adults like us, we don't say that. They're just waiting to, uh, to start here. Um... I remember like playing like going below isn't a good idea pretty much ever. Yeah. Unless you're like unless good strat, good strat is just everyone on the bottom. There's no point in keeping your sniper yeah. anywhere else. You just die. Yeah. I remember like like if you come up from this area, like a single demo can like shut down the entire entrance. Like why would you ever go down below? You go down below because you end up on their side. Yeah, but like that, you come from the low ground, and they have the high ground, and it's a choke. <laughs> so it's like no, not... they don't have the high ground. No, if they roll you're... out to the right side, like if they yeah, go yeah, out, but I mean, roll if out to there. the opposing side. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if, if they're there, you are below. Then them they have opposing. high ground, but I don't think that's what's gonna happen unless they predict it that they're gonna yeah. rush lower. It's it's not like there's a like a giant glass they can just see through below and see if they're coming. Well, you can't see it if you roll up left or right side. Yeah. You have to commit players to the point to actually see it, but it's a pretty a pretty obvious strat, and it's a pretty good strat, because you have to contest it. If you don't contest it, then the other team ends up on, on your side, and you you expose that high ground as well, which gives us like Ubers and Atomic that opportunity to just gun you down and without taking any casualties. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be into the first round here. I'm going to be watching Spelly on this uh, rollout here, as well as Maybe. And it seems like Maybe is just a little bit quicker. And he's actually going to go down below. Oh, here we go. Uh, and he's actually sticking up this area here. And is anyone going to come down? Oh, the heavy. Oh, he did didn't go down. Nice work there by Sandwich Spat. And getting the Dead Ringer onto Kazool, who just Dead Ringers passed. And he's going to go up onto this balcony area where the Engineer is. Just gonna go and bother him. So far, uh, Gog and Uber. So, oh wow, and Neri died. What happened there? 
Mm, I can talk you through it. It was you have to contest that left area, and then you have a soldier coming from top. You have a scout from top. Oh. Kind of unfortunate that they lost that. I didn't pay attention to that. <laughs> but if you if you contest the area, you always have players going in behind you, and it's so easy to just stand on the roof and shoot rockets below you. Yeah. So they're almost uh, all of chess club wiped there. It was just a whoop left their soldier. They're having this forward hold there. It was just a demo. He was going to be doing some sticks onto the board. He was very weak, but nice reflect there. Not taking that damage. So uh, this is what you're talking about. The forward hold, the aggressive hold. They have their combo classes all in the front. Oh, but maybe it takes down Sandwich. No heavy or uh, SDCK there. Here. And uh, looks like uh, Conch coming out here on defensive Conch. See here, the soldiers jumping by, very, very low on health. That is Uber just hanging out, going to jump and run into a mini sentry, and then hi to the engineer there. This is a map where Uber can get 35s. What was that? You can get 35 what? You have 35 deaths on this map. Oh yeah. So we saw a uh, forced Uber from SCCK here. Um, Hildreth was holding on to it, which was good. Only reason they won that push. They backed out and then went back in with that Uber. So you see, you, you can't hold forward on this map. There's no point doing it. The sniper is yeah. top left. If you get the night, then uh, SCCK is just gonna run them to point. Yeah, so this is what I was talking about. You, like, you go below right now, and you are below the other team. Like, the only class that's gonna be good against that is the demo man. Oh, but backstab from Kazul taking down Sandwich. Sandwich was very, like, exposed by himself. And now they're capping the point here, so. Let's see, they're coming out from the low ground area here. Uh, but it looks like STCK is gonna get the cap, and he's actually in the lead in. Um, in the, the cap time here. So, full Ubers for, for both teams. And Hildreth just popping his. He's going to go with the demo counter Uber coming out. Very nice, sir. And it uh, looks like the only player going down was Sipe for uh, Chess Club there. And and Burn actually got taken out there by Flo, getting counter sniped. The flank is doing so much work in here. They have that left side again. Uber is doing work on the balcony. He's distracting yeah. them quite a lot. And you see, SCCK can only hold that right side. Because uh, Flo is on the right side as well, he can't see them, that's the only place for them oh. to hide. So eventually nice. they back off because they lose so many players to the flank. Yeah, nice headshot there by Burn taking down uh, Ubers, who was a bit overextended there into their midst. So yeah, time to run away. Still an advantage for SCCK here, Uber-wise. Ubers are about even once again. Uh, Hildreth's gonna have his now, and now uh, Amy got his as well. Heavy out in the front here. Sick oh! Up. Hildreth coming down, that's a drop. Bye bye. Didn't see that one coming. Uh, nope. Well, maybe John did. <laughs> I didn't. Well, I saw it in the kill feed. There we go. I think John got it on camera. That's good. It was like a one shot, one kill. Uh, yeah, SCCK taking quite some time to push onto the point yeah. in here. Yeah, and they, they lost their own medic as well. Let's see, what did he die to? Actually missed that. Oh, it was actually the heavy just gunning him down with the Tommy Slaw. That's what happened. But yeah, this is Easy kill. Yeah, despite getting Hildreth with drop here, they're just he now. Died again. Oh. Well then. Nice work there by Dima, a soldier, just tearing up uh, shop here. Starry and Dima are doing work on this map right now. Yeah. I think Gubis and Tommy got choked. Yep, let's see here, we got Sandwich coming up top here, taking down Atomic. We got the bottom hold right now, and Catman trying to hold them off from pushing up there. Get sniped by, by Burn. Yeah. And somehow they're still holding that lower area. Kalis is going way too far in. He said they lose yeah. the that push as well. Yeah, it seems like just constantly trading players. Whenever I look at like the uh, the players alive on the sides here, there's always someone dead. 
Uh, so it seems like neither team are really like uh, full uh, at any I'm point not sure in time. If, I'm not sure if Elias played this map a single time, <laughs> <laughs> judging from the way he plays it. So time's about to tick out here, and uh, over time. Now, Numbers uh, are with uh, chess, right? and they're taking the point. Kalias was jumping that top right area and oh, just spamming his own. Headshot from the man with no ears, the spy, doing some spiper action there, and they just need to stand on the point here and get the cap, but they, they looked like they forgot. Um, yeah, the Meg was standing right next to it. Yeah. So, you know what the medic says? Stand, don't, standing near the point does nothing! Stand on the point, Dumkov. Probably what Hildreth said to Atomic as he stood next to the point and they lost the round. Yeah, coming into next one, let's see what happens here. We have a demo duel at the bottom here and Starry gets taken up. Three kills. It's already lost. Hildreth died to headshot from Burn there. And then Burn died headshot from Chess. So they traded a medic for a sniper as well as their spy going down as well. So man with no ears dying. And oh, Sandwich is in the point all by himself. Now it's just regrouping with this combo, and they're gonna kill this other heavy that's out of position. And this is just a mess. Yes, the STC is getting cut off way too hard here. They eventually gather up with the combo. So oh, the backstab. Backstab Ooh. coming in. It looks like STCK is winning that flow hitting oh, the same shot. And yeah. <laughs> wow, oh, that was flow. Make him drop. You didn't drop our. I'll drop yours. So that's a, this is a very long mid fight. Like still sort of going on. Nobody's really capped it yet. But it looks like it's DCK will cap it uh, because they're standing on the point. Atomic. That's how you do it. But now Hildreth has had enough. I mean, Kritzkrieg doesn't want to build that long. He just want to get the Kritzkrieg and kills. Let's see if this uh, works out for them. This is like one of the maps. Like process. If you cross. That sniper sight line, which is always there in the rollout, and you get killed, it just happened. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, I like Kinda how. Kind of lucky for Hildreth because he keeps getting killed by that. Yeah. Like these snipers are pretty good, so like if they see you, there's a big chance that you're gonna get killed, so. Better not, better stay out of their sight lines, which is hard to well, do. if you jump they're... as a medic, you make it pretty easy for the sniper. Yeah, but you can crouch in the air and jitter up and down and hope, pray to the gods that Greg is on your side. And not get hit. It isn't. <laughs> so, let's see here, Hildreth has that uh, Chris Krieg, but the other team is about to have full Uber, and uh, maybe here. Let's see, let's see what happens. Crit's getting popped. Uber coming in. 300 times zero is zero damage, and wow. Chess Club just dying left and right here. It's only the demo and the atomic left here, just a respawn for the engineer. So you were talking about the glass right there, this is what STCK did, they just ran across the bottom area and ended up on Chess's style of the map and they got yeah. too surprised to defend that. So this is the forward hold I'm talking about, it's yeah. working pretty well for them, for STCK. Um, what? Sandwich just over committing there. Yeah, yeah, okay, so that was Kazool and Ubers. I thought like Ubers soloed a heavy and a demo all on its own. But uh, he got them from all her support from Kazool. Yeah. Um, still, though, huge here for SDCK. They seem to be the uh, dominant team in this uh, matchup here, but it looks like uh, Chess Club finally grouping together and actually standing on the point, capping it. There we go. They a lead for. DCK. So let's see, they're gonna have a burn re just respawning now. And Ubers, uh, well, actually, Hildred's on a quick fix now. That's interesting. Just going through all the medics. Maybe we'll see Vaccinator next. But, um, let's see what they'd like to do. So Burn's gonna go peek. Doesn't have any overheal. Hildred almost died to that flank again. Oh, he yeah, died. When he's right there. Yep. He died. He's not very careful about yeah. um, his surroundings and the high ground. It could be that, you know, he hasn't slept and, you know, has like zero energy. I think that might be playing into it a little bit. That's no excuse. That's no excuse. How dare you, like, be woozy after a line of much drinking and little sleeping. Well, he can sleep in the train or... Oh, he drove. Did he drive? <laughs> yeah, he drove. he drove. No, he slept in the car on the way home. He has, like, yeah, why those. not? <laughs> Autopilot and go. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> 
Yes. So, uh, <laughs> Uber coming out here. All the heavy cleaning up. Wow, Chesco is just getting destroyed. And uh, let's see, Uber's here getting caught out in a rock and hard place. He sees a mini sentry, he's gonna take that out. And there's a heavy and the medic. Let's see, we have a pause. Yep, looks like we have a pause here. So, Hildreth also asks Starry if he want to play Overwatch after this. Hildreth says he's so bored. Obviously, he's not tired enough. No, not enough tired. She gets. Maybe let me be able to just like take a pause. I need like a, a minute nap. Mission ends in thirty seconds. Probably what he needs. He's he's playing so he's he's not focused at all. You can you can tell by things he does. Like he he would just run in front of his combo. Or yeah. he would he needs to tell the oops to get on the high ground. This is this is like a map where Ubis gets a ton of us and after the map he says this is what you do a soldier, you die. <laughs> yeah. But on this map it doesn't work out too well with that high ground. It's just too strong. Yeah. You can kinda put a dispenser there or you can entry jump that's some advanced uh engineer tactics on the roof and you put a mini sentry there. It denies a ton of stuff. But I'm not really seeing it here by either engineers. It's pretty sad. Yeah. Disappointed by uh, that top level engineer play. Yeah. How dare they like not do the fancy schmancy stuff. Catapult yeah, themselves why, around. Uh, that's why they didn't get NG of the season. It was me. <laughs> what they should do is like the uh, the confusion dispenser jump where you just jump with a dispenser, put it down next to the medic and the enemy team's like, what the fuck are you doing? And then they just shoot you and you die, but you confuse them. No, you level that's three sentry jump and then you hit them in the face. Yeah, with the so you're doing bad water. <laughs> this happens on the next patch. You can hit people with your buildings. Yeah, we just right, put right, them so. down and detonate them, and then it's like a splash. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, what's going on here. Um, I'll check. So I think it's a it's a win limit four. Oh, I'm getting from John at that earlier. Yeah, there's a uh, half time after after one team one team hits uh, a score of three and then yeah, first get a little time out to talk tactics and straighten out before you get destroyed once more. <laughs> yeah, this pause is it might be something um, to take the whole momentum out of this. Yeah, uh, the momentum from SDCK because. Chess really needs to get the get their stuff together. The, this is the same mistakes they're making on on upward, and these mistakes I didn't see them happening at all on steel. I guess obviously it's a strong map, but it's like a basic thing, and it only seems to be because I don't know if they're devastated. Um, but just taking the momentum out of this out of the game. With like a pause or maybe the half time later it might help them. Yeah. You know the time left on the point? Yeah, zero. Is it? <laughs> no. Uh I think it was a little over a minute when we uh when it started counting down. Apparently Ubis is gone. Oh. Alright, so we're just gonna wait for him to get back. So oh, this is where we start to look at hats. Who has the fanciest hat? And yeah. Yeah, party. Classic. Yeah, party hat. So it's a party when he's around. I also think Starry has a pretty good hat. Flow with the Bills hat. Haven't seen that in ages. He's also... Although he's probably using it all the time. <laughs> no one yeah. uses Bills hat anymore. Who, who the hell still does? Well, he uses the white one, which is like the toilet paper, isn't it? Toilet paper? Yeah, that was like a thing when it came out. I was like, oh, you colored white the toilet paper hat. Ugh. That's it's, a thing. I don't remember. I haven't been around that time then. Oh, yeah. I'm cool. I colored mine gray because it's like the gray berets, which is something, I think. Sick.
Yeah, like, just name yourself. Oh, looks like the pause is over. Let's see if we yeah. can refresh the HUD. And it's 50 seconds left, so a little under a minute. So now we have TF2 on ice here. We have Kazul just running up and gunning down Burn. And then dead ringing away. And it looks like FTCK is just still holding this point here. So uh, Fix is uh, over halfway done for um, Hildreth here. And Nier has just uh, started healing again, so he's pretty slow. So they're going to have this quick fix here. I haven't used the quick fix that much since the patch, but uh, I wonder if the pyro buff uh, or the pyro, like the, the pyro debuff you get from flames on the heal uh, applies to the quick fix. Is I'm not my sure question. about that, but obviously Hildred was tired of dying, so he switched to the quick fix. Yeah, it's back he dies. right there. He just <laughs> lost every single play around him. Yeah. I'm not sure if Kale is his main calling. He used to be a good main caller, but on a map he's never played or not played much. It's n it's no good. Like anything yeah. he calls is probably bad because he doesn't. He's not too aware aware of the map. Yeah, it's like put the soldier on the thing and go to the door behind the other door. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like SDCK is gonna take another round, taking you know, up two all. Or 2-0. I'm not entirely sure what say. 2-all is probably when both teams have points. So yeah, third round coming in. SDCK in the lead so far. Your dominant Hildreth just keeps dying over and over and over. And let's see if he keeps doing that, because that's always fun. We can, we can laugh oh, at his expense. Slow to mid, apparently. Not sure what happened there. Yeah, he ripped. Had to tie his shoelaces, even though he's wearing boots. Let's see. Is there um, any no, Looks like they've already regular. lost their players. I mean, they lost their heavy and Sinrai nice to a headshot Ooh. going down as well. And we see SDCK just at any point in time just walk, standing around the point. There they cap it. And Uber is getting bullied away there, taken out. They're just going to go and cap this. Not sure if this is where the boss happened because he was just standing at the spawn. Um, but he's sitting pretty comfortable in that corner there, he's not moving at all. <laughs> oh my god, he's almost got killed by Dima. Yeah. Well, let's Just see here, full Uber for both teams. Let's I see. he's on the flank, he can oh. probably pull off something from there. Yeah, Hildreth uh, never mind. forced there. Minute. Counter Uber command. So another Uber exchange, um, yep. Chaz running away. Spelly jumping in, and they have the top right or top left area, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. It's gonna Once oh, again, he, died. <laughs> he gets bomb rushed every single time. We should just go yeah. quick fix. There's no no good in in taking the the um what do you call it? The the thing. The tick, you know. Yeah. The hectic from STCK because they just seem to be, they seem to be yoling. They're not playing any, any positions. They're not playing on the high ground. They're just, oh, we see them. Let's do that and it works. Yeah. So it let's see here. So Once again, they're gonna try and dry push this because they know that Anir doesn't have Uber yet, and now they're being led by a single miniature there, spending a lot of effort going there. So they're still just down on the low ground. And oh, look at this, the runaround. Oh, they have an Uber as well. This is a death trap. Oh, but the engineer, one, oh, almost gets the kill there. Taking the medic down to very low health there. Nice work there by Gog. He gets out of there alive too. That's where the pause happened. Yeah, seems so. So there we go, soldier taken out, and yeah, STCK yep. here has uh, hold the point for for quite a while here. I mean, it's only 55 seconds left, and uh, Chess Club hasn't even touched it. I mean, now they have. Just as I say that, but uh, that's a, oh bomb coming in. Hildreth one rocket, two rocket, and the third connects. Hildreth going down to the blue soldier Dima with the uh, exhibit loadout for heals. He heals while he heals while he heals, allowing him to get the pick on Hildreth. And now Hildreth has changed name to Rip Gene Wilder. Whoever that is. Uh, probably a British person, I would guess. John? Probably a politician. Something like and that. And Hildreth is Rip again. 
Yeah. All by himself. It should be it should be Kayla's. When they go in, it should be Kayla's jumping in behind them. At least getting the mini sentry. That's something. But he's not getting anything in that exchange any single time. He should go behind them, or he should go take the high ground. Yeah. He's he's not accomplishing anything in those exchanges. Yeah. Which so is, uh, if you have a demo that's not playing aggressive, uh, a demo that know what he can do on a map and which which positions are useful to go in even if you're solo as demo in a yeah. new exchange you can just jump in there's nothing else you can do anyway yeah and it looks like uh uh chess club is just forfeiting because they have left they're not going to play the, the last round there i think okay uh yeah why bother John says. I so. guess it's three rounds then. Yeah, three rounds, and uh, they don't even want to play the last one. I think they're all sick of getting absolutely destroyed there. So well done to SDCK beating out Chess Club in Champions the finals. of UGC Highlander yeah. Season 19. Congratulations. So we what have a Clark here. Score, then. Congratulations for Chess. Hi. <laughs> you, hey. Like, I can hear this in your face, Clark. Oh, what can you hear again? <laughs> your smile. Yes, it's uh... Yes. Congratulations on your win. How does it feel? Hey. Uh, it feels great. I was bitching a lot after we lost Steel, but then oh, yeah, uh, everything tell. was good. Yeah, like, it looks like the bitching worked because uh, Chess Club started playing awful after that, so I guess it worked. Uh, yeah, I guess it did. Yeah. Spelly uh, started taking control a lot, her demo man, uh, in our pushes. Everybody was calling a lot, uh, and it worked. And then we kept our momentum up from upward into Asheville. And uh, even they took a tactical pause, but it didn't really work for them anyway. Yeah. Mm, they said Ubers. Kazul said Ubers. Sad face. Yeah, and we also got Dima here. Uh, was the soldier, if I don't remember incorrectly? Yeah. You had some nice the bombs there, man. How did how does it feel to win? I don't know really because it just first time that I it's won Highlander. UGC. Uh, yeah, and it's Highlander. I'm not I'm new to this world, you know. I just mm, I like really more hello. six people inside me instead of <laughs> nine, you know. <laughs> six people inside. All right. One thing you can write on your CV at least: Highlander yeah. UGC winner. So you're going to get the medal, of course. Be sure to rub it in everyone's faces on, like, pub server scrims and all that. The teaching model, important. is it still the same? Yeah, it probably is. Uh, I'm not getting new medals since... I like uh, the crystal years, medals. They're pretty. Yeah. Fun fact, though, I don't think Hildreth slept at all, because I shared a hotel room with him at I-58, and uh, today he was like, nope, just going to drive home and not sleep and be out drinking all night, so... That, yeah. Wasn't it like Lan and Nutshell, really? Ah, uh, that's apparently this was, was my first Lan, so that's what everybody did. Didn't sleep and drank <laughs> a lot, so that makes you play UGC very well. Probably. But yeah, so uh, what's the plan going forward? Hello. You guys can um, play in. Oh, hey, Kazul, how do you feel to lose? Um, well, not. I don't know, really. Like, it's. We have <laughs> once, you know, trying some people, trying to get the team going for ETF 12. Yeah, how tired was Hildreth? Uh, it's not really fine, tired, and really. Um, I mean, I even asked him like when we we asked him to sell it, if he even had a um, new pair of headphones. He told him that he was really, like his full self. Okay. Hmm. All right then. So, what's the plan for SDCK going forward? Guys, going into ETF two L's. Um, um. Yeah, we, we are. are. Yeah, definitely. Go on, Spelly. Hmm? Sorry? Go on. Oh yeah, like uh, we had some beef in our team, but I hope that's fine now. Yeah. Winning like, usually like ends the beef. If you've lost, you would have might have been more. Yeah. But like we scrim we scrim like twice a week or something and whenever we have mercs our team is just not the same. And yeah. some people really don't like that. And I can understand that. So some people feel less motivated towards the official, but like during officials we're just getting our spirit back, you know. Yeah. It's uh, interesting to me how uh, like teams win each other picks because Steel was our pick. We're really confident on it. 
We like if you guys remember, we almost cut it like a Apers. We're really, really disappointed when we didn't. It was like I didn't even build in defense for like forty seconds because I was bitching about it. But I'm sorry about it now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you were really close. You just handic. And in our defense, we were also like floppy that we even let you go that far. We came and back. He has, he has been uh, like for some like our, I forgot even to run Scorcher if I remember correctly. Um, so we just being very sloppy, and we were just lucky we even like you can cap it. Um, if I got that many level three centuries on E clock, I would be mad as shit with my team winning. Yeah. So it's fine. Like all those centuries, they did so much, and there's nothing your team could do off of it. Uh, there was one mistake I did. Like when it was spawned out, I tried to move it. And I get just killed by Ubers, I think, who flanked me. I was really disappointed about that. But still, we are happy that we moved forward to upward to uh, winning. Um, real, I felt the upward game was probably the best out of three maps. Like, we re really enjoyed it. It was really close. So thank you, Kazoo, and the rest of the gang for it. Hey, you're welcome. All right, so... Well, um... Okay, we're gonna That's wrap it. it up here. So, anything else you want to say? Let's go to the mm, shout outs straight away. Really. Yeah, okay, uh, you can shout out. Me first? Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, I don't know, shout out to you in chess. You, you disappointed me. Yeah, we're sorry. <laughs> we'll, do, we'll, do better, we'll do better need to tell when we start I'm not even on the roster, so I don't care. <laughs> I've got medals anyway. <laughs> Uh, um, it's me. Clock. Okay. Yeah. Um, shout out to SDCK. Shout out to Sandwich in particular. Shout out to Spelly, who, like making himself like uh, the best player on the team on Upfort and Nashville. Uh, really, and I mean it. I think he was the best one. Um, and shout out to my mom who's watching. She actually watching. It's so cute. No, no she's not. Is it some inside joke I'm missing right now? No, she's just very supportive of me. No, she's what's not. I'm lying. Name? I'm lying. Just go on. Go Does on. Does your mom know what you're doing? What's her Twitch evening? name? Yeah, are you, are you aware? She aware? Hello, Clark. Hello? What's her Twitch name? What's the Twitch what again? Twitch name. Of your mother. Well... John, can we end it? If I if I say it now, <laughs> if I say it now, Quintus, I know there will be a joke. Right. I know Bye, there will be a joke. Right, everybody. Have a good night.